It's time for my run. I'm looking at my trainers, but I just don't want to go. Has anyone else had this? Oh yes, I get this all the time. Me too. Whether it's the fact that there are no races coming up to train for, or just not really putting much thoughts into running, simple fact is that you can sometimes just get a bit bored of running. And yes, that might sound ridiculous coming from us, the running channel, but yes, it's absolutely true. There are always going to be days where we don't want to go for a run. So how can we make it more exciting and make running fun again? We've put together a list of some of the ways that we think you can make running a bit more fun and exciting. So whether you're bored of your same old route, maybe you've lost all motivation to get out of the door, perhaps you just are bored of running completely. Hopefully we have got some ideas to help you switch it up and make running more fun. But before we dive in, if you're new to the running channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the bell icon so you get notified when we upload videos all about running, which we do every week. When we do start to find that running is getting a little boring, why not ask ourselves who, what, when, where, and why we are running? Asking ourselves those five questions can really help us to find the joy again. So firstly, who? Well, it's not necessarily possible to run with lots of other people at the moment because of the global pandemic, but as those restrictions begin to get lifted, we definitely advocate running with other people to make it more fun. It's great to be able to run along and chat with other people, which stops those feelings of, how much longer have I got left? Or this feels really hard. It's also great to let that person set the route and set the pace, and all you have to do is follow along, and soon enough, you won't even realize that you've run as far as you have. If you can't get out with other people at the moment, then you could always call each other while you're going on a run. So agree the time you'll set off and how long you'll run for, and then speak to each other about motivation and a bit of a catch up, or agree to set off at the same time and catch up at the end to see how you both did. You could also mix up who you're listening to. So maybe your running playlist is getting a bit repetitive. Why not give the running channel's very own ultimate running song a listen for that extra bit of motivation? Or if music's not your thing, what about a podcast or an audiobook? You could even set up your own running book club where you set a different audiobook each month to listen to and then get together with your friends to discuss it afterwards. And finally, why not make running fun for all your family? Get your kids to come along and join you. They can come on their bikes and pace you or be your mobile water or aid station. Or you could uh, be brave and let them be your personal trainer for the day. Hopefully they'll have some fun at least. Again, but this time can try and run a bit faster. It might sound obvious, but have you actually thought about what you're doing when you go out for a run, apart from putting one foot in front of the other? Actually planning your sessions and where you're going to go can help you get more out of running as a whole. So rather than going out for the same distance or the same amount of time each time you go out to run, why not switch up what you're doing for each of the runs during the week? You could try a different kind of running session, maybe a fartlek where you play around with speed or a classic interval session. Or maybe you could go and try some hill sprints. I mean, somebody's got to love going up hills, right? Or if you're looking for something completely different, there are loads of apps out there that can make your runs a bit more interesting. So for example, Zombies Run is an immersive game that you play whilst you're on your run and it mixes it up every time. So you are being chased by zombies while you run and you've got to run away from them. We've included that in our roundup of the best running apps video on the running channel, so be sure to check that one out for some more inspiration. Another way to switch up what you're doing is to take on a challenge. Although you might not be training for a race at the moment, there are plenty of virtual challenges that you can take on. You could do a distance challenge if you want to clock up the miles, or you could even go for a one-off if you just want to go for a new PB. Either way, you can get a medal sent to you in the post. You could have a go at one of our very own running channel challenges. Have you had a go at maybe Anna and Rick's pace challenge? Or perhaps you want to try the fastest 5k challenge? Another way of making running more fun is to explore new areas and change where you run or where you run to. A really simple change that you could make is just run your usual route backwards. Now, I 
don't mean running backwards, although each to their own, running backwards is an actual thing. But if you reverse the route, so go out the opposite way to you normally do, then that incline that you hate every time you do it, that becomes running downhill. You could also find a new route going from your front door or find a new path to run down. Or perhaps you could have fun trying to plan and then run every single road in your area. If you really want to go down the planning route, then why not get really creative and try some Strava art? It's a tricky skill to master, but I think I've got the hang of it now. Another option could be to pick two landmarks and time yourself how long it takes to get between them. Next time, you can try and beat your time. Of course, if you use Strava or another app that has segments, you can also target some of those and try and get higher up the leaderboard than you are at the moment. And if you're bored of pounding the pavements, why not head to the trails instead? If that's something totally new to you, you'll find that it slows your pace right down. You'll be able to check out some beautiful scenery and it can really bring the fun and enjoyment back to running. If you're not sure where to start, be sure to check out our top tips for how to get into running on the trails in our video all about that on the running channel. Another thing that might be really stopping you enjoying your run is when you're doing it. So if you're getting up really early in the morning but that's just not working for you, then try leaving it till later in the day. Perhaps you could have a nice sunset run or perhaps take a break from your work in the middle of the day and go for a lunchtime run. Now this is one that I do struggle with but what about trying and set that alarm a little bit earlier. Have you ever timed your run around the sunrise? Stop and take it all in and see the beautiful scenery. Maybe take a photo as well. We love seeing your beautiful running photos across all of our social media channels. So if you do do this one, make sure you snap a photo and tag at running channel in as well so that we can see it. Another great plan of when to run could be using running as your mode of transport. So running to meet a friend at a cafe could motivate you to get there because when you get there, You'll not only get something nice, but you'll also see a smiling, familiar face. You might enjoy running a lot more if you use it when you need it. So for a lot of us, running is our me time and a chance to switch off. So grab your favourite running outfit, put on your favourite pair of trainers, grab your favourite running playlist or a brand new episode of the podcast that you're listening to and enjoy those moments of escape that running can give you in order to enjoy your run that little bit more. And that leads on to our last point, why do we run? If you're finding running boring and you're just not getting the same enjoyment out of it that you used to, well then ask yourself, why am I running? You'll have a lot more fun out on your runs if you know the reason why you're doing it and what you're hoping to get out of that run too. So whether running is your way of keeping fit, your social activity, a way of losing weight, or simply a little bit of me time to get away from the hectic lives that we all lead, identify the reason why you go on each run to give yourself a reason to keep running. Setting yourself future goals and targets can really help keep you motivated. It can make the running even seem a bit easier and hopefully make it more enjoyable for you too. So hopefully this video has given you some good ideas to try out for yourself. Let us know in the comments below if you have any other tips and tricks to keep running fun and exciting. And we'll see you next time on The Running Channel.